Hey YouTube, here we are today. I'm here visiting Tyler. Um, I'd like to talk to you a little bit about um, Razor and Ranger and Sportsman 800 and 700 crankshafts. We've seen a lot of problems like this, where your PTO end rod bearing fails. Um, this is a lovely hot rod crankshaft. We have a lot of problems with those. Um, anyway, there's one right there. We're going to show you the anatomy, how it works, are they rebuildable, what to do. Um, pretty much when this happens, if you, if you press it apart, this is what you're going to find. That this end right here is pretty buggered up, messed up, ruined, whatever you want to call it. Now, I have heard of shops out there that can actually weld this and regrind it to fit the new bearings. Um, not really aware of that is what they do here. They just buy a brand new one. This is uh, the brand new PTON. That's what they look like. You know, everything's new. Everything's to spec, ready to go. Uh, after you press them apart, this is what they look like. This is actually a 700 crankshaft right here, but you, but you get an idea. Um, how you can tell if it's a 700 or 800 by quick identification is the connecting rods. So this one right here, this is an 800. This one here is a 700. You can see the width. Now, will they fit? Yes. This the the big end bearing size is the same. It'll fit. This will fit right on an 800, on an 800 width, and and be just fine. Um, the difference is where they press together in the center. This is a 700 center section, okay? This right here is an 800 center section. So those parts, if you're asking and inquiring about, are those interchangeable? No, they're not. Right there's the difference. This, the 800 has this taper right there. The 700 does not. Um, so those parts, these parts are not interchangeable between the crankshafts. Either are the rods, but they do have the same stroke, and this piston is also the same bore. So if you do want to put your 800 crankshaft in a 700, it's possible. Um, you just got to use 800 pistons and then change out the counterbalance shaft too. Anyway, that's that we we can talk about that in a different video. This is the anatomy of your of your crankshaft um, after you take it apart. Now whatever side is bad on yours, you can you can rebuild it. You can get new ma new PTO ends, new mag ends, whatever you need. Press it all together and true it up. Um, over here, okay, <clears throat> another thing. This is one that they've done here at Tyler's. Um, this is the, let's see if you can get a close up of this. This is the clearance. This is the clearance on a recommended in the book. Not very much in my opinion, That not very much. Since the PTO side is the one that fails 90% of the time, they have, they're trying to open up this clearance a little bit. See that? Give it a little bit more clearance right there so that this bearing gets more oil and in theory, last longer. We've had really good luck, or they've had good luck by doing that. Um, I sell them for them, so that's how I... This one here is one that's all fully rebuilt, you know, uh, new mag, new mag and new PTO and new rods, you know, it's what they look like. Um, they they do a lot with hot rods. These, uh, these are all hot rods crankshafts here, and uh, e almost all of them have uh, failed at the PTO end, like, like we're talking about. So these ones are all ones that they've sold this month that have come back for warranty that they're getting ready to ship back to Hot Rods. They, they've they tried to tell them to open this clearance up a little bit. I mean, the problem is consistent with all of the cranks. PTON failure, PTON, PTON, PTON. Um, they just get so hot. Look, oh, there's another one. What happened to that one? It appears to have gotten really hot, and the bearing has... Uh, disintegrated on the PTO end. That one is, yeah, the whole rod's gone. Um, this one here, this hot rods one started, didn't even really get the piston, you know, the wear off the new pistons, the break-in coating, the Teflon coating before that one failed. Anyway, I mean, I'm not, we're not saying that, that these crankshafts are all bad, but we're just trying to give them a few pointers on, please, when you assemble them, when you press them together, we found that there's a lot better, they last a lot longer when you open up, I don't even know if you guys can see that, that uh, the clearance is right here on this piece, see that, side to side clearance, we're finding this, this will last twice as long as this one, I don't even know 
know if you can see that. But anyway, this is just a quick, quick overview on your Razor 800 crankshaft. Is it rebuildable? Yes, it is rebuildable. You just have to have the right parts. You have to know the right shop. Now, there's quite a few crankshaft shops across the nation that are rebuilding these now because they're, it's starting, it's been quite a problem for quite a while. Um, anyway, anything we can do to make this engine last longer and be better, we're, we're all a part of that. So, any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks, guys. See ya.